going on guys today we are on st croix in the US virgin islands here at the frederickstead pier and we are on the north side of the pier and we are kicking our way all the way down to the extreme end of it it's a spot that's not dove as much as the rest of the pier but it's really cool down there so uh, we've got a heck of a swim ahead of us here it's about 1500 feet or 460 meter swim all the way out to the end so we're gonna get going All right, guys, we're almost at the extreme end of the pier here. The piping has started, which marks the end. And uh, at the very end, there are three pilings that head down all together. They are affectionately known as the three amigos. We're gonna descend down those, check those out. They head down to about 90 feet or 27 meters. Uh, from there, we're gonna start to head back to the east and follow the pier. out to the three amigos here you guys ready to head down oh absolutely yeah let's do it all right we got 90 feet below us it looks like it's crystal clear water we can pretty much see all the way straight down today That's so great. it looks like pretty fantastic dive ahead of us absolutely all right let's Forward get to it. cool let's get going Descending down into the blue was amazing. The water was gorgeous and crystal clear. The three amigos next to us plummeted into the depths and made an easy navigation aid to follow down. But we saw that Sarah was a little bit higher than Evan and I on our descent, and we wondered why. As she was slowly descending, we could tell quickly that the dive was not going as planned. We always try to stay together and descend at the same rate. But it looked like Sarah was having some challenges equalizing her ears. She did the right thing by stopping and communicating what was happening, by leveling off and coming up a little bit to work out that ear pressure. We had a choice at that point. We could abort the dive. She could level off and stay at that depth, at her maximum depth, and we were about halfway to three quarters of the way to the bottom at this point. But continuing on down was no longer an option, so we had to adapt our dive plan. The choice was made that Sarah and Evan would stay together, and then I would descend down to the sea floor a little bit more. So I clicked on the lights and followed the columns down. Exploring the sea floor to the south of the pier, we find several concrete pilings on their side. Tucked underneath are some invasive lionfish, but covered across the top and the sides is all kinds of sea life. And they serve as an artificial reef in this area. Traversing over the bottom to the north side of the pier, we cross a debris field where there's all kinds of stuff just scattered on the bottom. As we swim over to a platform that had fallen off at some time in the past, we 
you can see it serves as another artificial reef for all kinds of sea life and fish. Moving from the piling, we find more lionfish that are again invasive to this area. But looking back, it's just a gorgeous view of the three amigos out there in the blue. As we head towards the main pier, we find a row of six columns that really mark the entrance. columns are covered in sea life, including sponges and soft corals and all kinds of feather duster worms. Fishing line is really prevalent down here, and it poses a safety hazard to divers. It's also not great for the marine environment and the turtles and all kinds of other sea life that call the pier home, which is why we help organize and support local cleanup efforts with the local dive club and local dive shops. Heading out to the south side of the pier, we find the old pilings that were made of wood where just the base of those pilings is still visible. As we explore more of the pier, Evan found an octopus in one of the pipes. If we take a look real close, we can just barely see a small part of him. Moving back under the pier, you find more concrete rubble piles and just teeming with fish. There's an old twisted gate or section of fence, but it provides a great home for this trumpet fish here. Frogfish are another species that we call the pier home, and Evan finds a tiny one just in this little soft sponge. So we swim around, Sarah points out another yellow frogfish that's just perched on the end of this rock. Swimming around, Evan spots a scorpion fish that's perfectly camouflaged and blended into the rock face. There's all kinds of species down here of fish. The porcupine fish, their big smiles just kind of float and hover in a spot. And then there's green sea turtles. And Evan finds one tucked underneath a rock ledge. And as we pass by, it heads out and swims back up to the surface to take a breath. It's a gorgeous day underwater. As the sun gets lower in the sky, and the sea turtle descends under the pier again. We check our air and find that it's time for us to call it a day. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a dive and hit that bell notification and definitely check out another one of our videos here at the end. Guys, it was an amazing dive, and we'll see you next time underwater.